What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Plus Two Geeks. I am Chuck, and this is the NSTMF Lab, or the National Science and Technology Medals Foundation. Now, this is just like something I found. Like so I was scrolling down Facebook, and then it like popped. Like somebody else uh, shared it on Facebook, and I thought this thing was so cool. It's not necessarily a game or anything like that. It's more like a uh, a simulator, like a gravity simulator and everything. So as you can see, it says press and hold and flick to add velocity. What I am basically doing here is creating my own universe. So if I hold it down, hold the button down, I can make a huge object and let it sit there. And then if I want to, I can also take another object and if I do it just right, bam. And then it gives you little cool things down here like observations you create in an orbit. Orbits are like the Goldilocks of space set in motion only when... Uh, okay, so I couldn't read that fast, but, you know, you get the idea. I mean, it's really cool. You can come out with some really cool orbits. You can zoom out a little bit. There we go. We'll zoom out a little bit. There, there, there we go. Uh, not too far. Well, that was right where it was. Okay. And then if you do it right, you can actually create multiple orbits as if you were, like, trying to create a universe. Oh, no. He's going off into space somewhere. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right, let's see if we can create a smaller orbit here. Hold on, this is so cool. No, don't crash into it. All right, dead. All right, anything? <laughs> According to Newton, the larger mass objects. Okay, so it will actually pull it too. So if you have like, it it works like as if gravity. Now I did see one thing that was kind of peculiar. Like if you get, hold on, let's see if I can do it again. Hold on. Mm, all right. Oops. All right. So I just created another orbit, but still, that's a bigger mass object and everything. But I haven't. I've noticed that even these bigger mass objects, like I'm not sure if this is an accurate, uh, bleh, accurate simulator though, because I have seen objects like smaller objects get really close to each other, and it doesn't affect the orbit. See, like boom, right there. Shouldn't that have affected the orbit? I don't know. Maybe it's not close enough. I'm not a scientist, so I'm not sure. This may be, like, extremely accurate. I don't know. But this is kind of how... So I can actually... So this is, like, you know... So I'll go off of the professionals and let them... I am by far no expert, so please, you know, anything that I say, you know, don't... Take it with a grain of salt. I don't necessarily know... <laughs> the actual like mathematics behind it and everything grab it oh okay but you can create like little universes and stuff like this so this will be my son or my greater object i don't know i like i don't know if they actually uh necessarily label these as like anything if you can create it it's just you're creating little objects so it's not much i don't think you can create like a sun or a, a moon. Well, I mean, I guess like it's all rocky. Like I don't know if you can create like a star or uh, like a regular planetary object. Um, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, if I could speak, I'd be able to. But all right. So if I create a big enough one, I can kind of control where this thing's gonna go a little bit. Eh, there we go. I want to pull it back this way because I'm. I want to kind of keep it in the middle. I don't want it to go too far. There we go. It's spinning back this other way, going very slowly. Good. We don't want it to go too fast. But, so I can create a small little one. Ah. Oh. Ah. I'm trying to create, like, the smallest one I possibly can. Oh, their mass. Tiny planets move their distances. Massive planets may only wobble. Okay. I have created, um, like, I was playing around with this a little bit earlier. Okay. I, you know, I, I wanted to see a little bit of it first before I actually made it. Um, oh! See, now you get a, a oh, dang, that's traveling fast. Yeah, but now you'll get an actual idea of what I'm talking about. Like, see, if they come close together, it doesn't really, see, it doesn't really affect the orbit. Like, it kind of slows it down, but I don't know, maybe it's because this object is bigger, and it's just, like, still, it, it like, it trumps the other ones, I guess you could say. I don't know. How you want to call that, but I want to pull this back this way. It's getting a lot of the way there. Because if you go, you can you can zoom out pretty far. Well, eh, I guess not. Oh, this is about as far as it'll go. But so that's kind of cool. I created a little system here. So I have three planets. That's actually the best I've ever done. Normally, when I'm creating something, it'll show up more like this, and then. Oh my god, if I created it... Yeah, there we go. There we go. See, crossing orbits and stuff. So, 
Wow, that's going way out there. So it's kind of cool to play around with and everything. I, I don't know, I like it, but I, I'm fascinated with space and gravity and science and mathematics and all that. So that's what I excelled in in school. I didn't really, um, <laughs> I had a problem. I never did my homework. I know, very bad, very bad influence. Kids, always do your homework. I know it sucks right now, but trust me, it'll pay off in the end if you at least do your homework and you get the illusion of a good education. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Can't be throwing opinions around now. Promised I... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that... Hold on, where's that other one? There we go. This one. I'm actually surprised this hasn't collided in it with anything yet. Oh, there it goes. I spoke too soon. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that was so close. Yeah, but it's actually kind of cool. If they collide and they're relatively the same size, like, look, I'll show you. There we go. Oh, it missed. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get an orbit to cross, and then they just collide. Oh, I didn't want... Oh, that's too big. At least it'll pull that one back this way, though. Okay, all right, let me try it again. You got to kind of time it right. Oh, nope, it just engulfed it. Yeah, see? If they're big enough, they'll actually destroy themselves. So, and it kind of breaks apart into little pieces. I'm interested to see, whoa, see that right there. I can't imagine that that would be accurate. Like it just grabs it and throws it. Oh, it created a moon. There we go. Oh, I'm afraid to let this go. Like I don't want to, oh, that's kind of crossing. Of course, the moon kind of crosses in orbit there, so I don't know how long that moon's going to last. But still, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, it does do all kinds of different things. But my biggest point, and getting back to it, is I'm not quite sure if that was accurate. You know how it grabbed that moon and pulled it around, you know? I'm not quite sure that that would be, like, the laws of physics would allow for something like that. But, like I said, not an expert. <laughs> All right, here, here, let's start a new one. Let's do a new one. Okay. All right, so what I was talking about is uh, the new one that I, the other one that I created, I actually figured out how to do a binary system. Now, if you do it right, create a big enough one. There you go. And we could do this and then have them kind of pass by each other. Oh, I might not have done it right. Oh, they might get close enough. Who, oh, wait. Is it going to do it? Is it going to do it? Oh, there it is. Binary system. That's what I wanted to see. See, and I'm not quite sure if it would toss it out like that either. Like, pull it, like, push it away, like, repel each other like that. And then just go into an orbit. I'm not sure. Would that work like that? Like, if you know more about, like, the laws of physics and how this actually works, please, please let me know in the comments below if this is actually accurate or not. But still, it's fun to play around with either way. And then you can create little orbits and stuff around that. Actually, did that pretty cool. Ah, oh, collided. Urgh, come on. Create a cool orbit. Oh, binary systems are a little tougher. But if you get it going good, it'll show an actual orbit around the binary system too. Oh, no. We don't want to create them too big because otherwise they'll... Oop, there we go. Is it gonna is it gonna do it? No. It's hard to do. I'm not quite sure on how it might have to just be far enough away. Nope, there we go. Fits in between. How I would think it would be crushed by the gravity. Why is it red like that? I haven't seen that before. Or is that just gonna be the color of my orbits now? Oops. Pull it in. Maybe. Might just be the color of my orbits now. Oop, too fast. Throw a comet. There we go. Okay. I don't think that's going to stay in orbit. Yeah, see, because it's, you know, the sun is the center of the planet. Okay, all right. Ooh. Yeah, it still collided. Oh, they disappeared. Did they just... They must have canceled each other out or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. All right, well, I had a nice orbit going. Oh, that's a little big. That's a little big. 
<laughs> Ooh. See, why is it... Not, I don't think this is accurate. I really don't think this is accurate. Because I, I kind of figured it would have grabbed that. You know? Although it is kind of big. So not necessarily. Maybe it's just the smaller it is. Then it'll push it around. No? Something's up. Alright. Maybe it's not big enough to actually pull it in. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Because if it's big enough to pull it in when it's too close. Here, let me see if I can two, create two big ones. And then see if the binary system works that way. Okay, we want to kind of barely flick it this way. We want to... Alright. Now, there's a cool thing that happens if you create too much, though. The kind of... Uh, I guess the universe... I know, I'm like being annoying with that. Yeah. See, the universe collapses on itself, I guess. Watch, it'll, it'll say it here in a sec. Boom. Alright, see? Your universe has reached critical mass and collapsed. Fascinating. <laughs> I don't know if that's... You mean if that's fascinating in a sarcastic tone? Meaning fascinating like you just screwed up <laughs> all right guys well I just wanted to create a, cr a quick video here and everything and uh, I thought it was kind of cool I thought it was interesting and I had to share it so let me know what you think in the comments below and everything of what you thought of the uh, this and if you want to see more stuff like this or if there's more stuff like this out there that may be even more accurate than this because like I said I'm not quite sure as if that's ex it's all that accurate I'm, I'm pretty sure there it's just a cheap you know simulation so I'm not you know it, it, it's obviously free and they just you know whipped it up real quick so well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they didn't. Maybe they took their time on it, you know. But I don't. Uh, wow, I'm talking out my ass here now. But <laughs> so, but anyway, guys, just yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below if there's anything um, that's similar to this because I would love to see it. I really would love to see it, and I'll make a video of it. If you thought it was interesting, let me know. All right, and always remember, game together and stay together, guys. Have a good one. Bye.